Good morning, folks. Well, November kicked off with quite a bang. We saw two beautiful solar eruptions to start the day, and then the earthquakes began. Our peak tremor was a 7 magnitude earthquake that struck off the coast of Fiji. Luckily, there was no tsunami, and this region is used to earthquakes like this. Across the Pacific from there, a six-pointer had struck about eight hours earlier near Easter Island, and after the large shake, a tremor in the Solomon Islands listed at 5.4 was actually reading 6.0 or higher on multiple meters. All this in the wake of two massive filament destabilizations, this one releasing out into space in a coronal mass ejection. After some data lags, we have Soho Lasco showing a fast and wide burst from the region, mostly heading behind Earth's orbital trajectory in an Earth miss. Now NOAA's Enlil spiral shows a medium-sized CME completely missing our planet with no expected deviations in speed or plasma density. However, NASA's Enlil spiral shows a much stronger and faster CME, one that comes much closer to Earth, if not set to give it a glancing blow. One can't help but consider that possibility when eyeing this graphic. The filaments wreaked havoc on the coronal magnetic fields, pretty wild perturbations at our star there, and it significantly disrupted near-Earth space as well in the inner heliosphere. High and low energy protons began surging, and even the electrons as well. It surely was not the solar wind, although it is showing above average speed, but with only minor magnetic effects and waning now. Can you spot the growing sunspot group? Near center disk on the north, a brand new active region was born and is growing quickly, now developing solid umbras in a traditional spreading pattern. Thus far, it and the remaining spots have failed to produce large solar flares, but indeed the spots come back as quickly as they faded days ago. Even with the growth, there is no major magnetic complexity yet, with umbral polarity somewhat divided or lacking strength. Otherwise, it was a fairly calm day on our star, you see the southern dark coronal hole swinging around. I'll also note a late addition to the gamma ray burst listing as Andromeda popped on Halloween in addition to Carina. This was the scene in Chicago. While the eastern states struggled with cold down to the gulf, Chicago saw wind speeds top out over 70 miles per hour, 20 foot high waves off the lake, and much of Lakeshore Drive got flooded and had to be closed down. Kicking to the tropics watch, Cyclone Nilofar was the third strongest Arabian Sea storm ever seen, but it got shred apart by mid and upper level winds leaving only remnants now. Nuri in the West Pacific is strengthening the typhoon status and set to just barely miss Japan to the east. Across the ocean, we see one developing system still slated to head west towards Hawaii. While Vance is shaking up predictions a bit, this little slide to the west and changes to the expected track. This is the pressure in North America, counterclockwise low, clockwise pushing high, and another counterclockwise low out west. Watch how each moves the wind and note how the lows also suck in while the high pushes out. The story sticks to the cold blast coming down in the east. Please note that the west is in for a wild one today across wide areas, including the desert southwest, but focus remains on this record-breaking cold for early November. Gulf states marks there are asinine, and it's not over yet with a look ahead to Monday's frost and freeze warnings. Europe? What can I say? Same low up north creating tonight's top watches across every coastal area it touches. Meanwhile, you see a convergence across the South Island of New Zealand next to a moisture flow atop Tasmania with a convergence in northeast and northwest Australia. Those four areas take the purple tonight could see adverse conditions. Got shots of our star to close? It's 5.55 a.m. Eastern Time, 4.55 a.m. Central. That's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.